Today we're going to talk about how to charge your Neshire electric loader. I'm demonstrating this with our Neshire L1400 loader, but it's the same for all of our models. Now these machines charge off of a typical 120 volt outlet here in North America. We call that level one charging. So it's very simple. As long as you have a normal electrical outlet or an extension cord to reach your machine, you'll be able to charge. You'll start by getting your extension cord, or if you're close enough to your outlet, preparing your charger nearby. Here we've got our extension cord plugged into a 120 volt AC outlet, and we've got our charger. The charger pulls around 14 to 1500 watts. This is supported by most residential outlets, but you want to make sure that your outlet or circuit can support 1500 watts. You'll begin by plugging in your charger. You'll just plug it directly into your extension cord or 120 volt outlet. On the other end of your charger, you're going to have your electrical connection for the charger port on the machine. That you'll find on the 1400 on the right side or on our 880 machine on the left side. Here you'll lift the cover, you'll insert the charging connector, and you'll automatically see a red light turn on as soon as you insert the charging connector. That just means it's successfully connected to the machine. Once the charger itself kicks on, you'll hear the fan kick on, which it has now. At this point, charging will begin, and you don't have to do anything else but wait for it to finish. Charging times vary. If you've only been working for a couple of hours, it might take two, three, four hours to charge. If you've been doing several hours, four, five, six hours of work, it might take a 10 hour charge to get the entire battery charged back up. While charging is ongoing, the status light on the charger will be blinking red. That means the loader is currently charging. As soon as charging is finished, that status light will switch to green. That's how you know the charging is finished and you can unplug the charger. When charging has finished, you can simply unplug your connector from the machine. You can unplug your charger and stow it all away. You can, of course, leave the charger connected after the machine has finished charging. There's no damage to the machine. It is perfectly fine. You can let it run overnight and essentially that will just keep a trickle charge on the machine. One last note, the charger is not waterproof, so you do not want to charge the machine in the rain. It's always better to bring it into a garage, a shop, a barn, etc., to charge it there if it is raining. If it's not raining and skies are clear, you can of course charge outside just like this. Basically, it's as simple as charging your laptop. One end goes into a wall outlet, the other into the machine. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to learn more, you can find our loaders online at neshareequipment.com. Mm -hmm.